Hi, and welcome to this video. My name is Jack, and I tell the stories of how wealthy people made their fortunes. Sit back and relax and let me tell you about this one. Ken Griffin is one of the wealthiest people in the world, with a net worth of over $20 billion. He is the founder and CEO of Citadel, a Chicago-based hedge fund that manages over $35 billion in assets. But how did he make his billions? It all started when Ken Griffin was just a student at Harvard University. He had always been fascinated by finance and investing, and he spent all his free time reading financial books and analyzing the stock market. He was a brilliant student, and he graduated with a degree in economics in just three years. After graduation, Griffin moved to Chicago and started working at the investment bank, Frank C. Mayer & Company. He quickly proved himself to be a talented investor, and he was soon managing his own portfolio. But Griffin had bigger ambitions, and he wanted to start his own hedge fund. In 1990, Griffin founded Citadel with just $4.6 million in capital. He was just 22 years old at the time, but he had a vision for a new kind of hedge fund that would use technology and data analysis to beat the market. He recruited a team of talented mathematicians and computer scientists, and together they developed a groundbreaking trading platform called Hydra. Hydra was unlike anything the financial world had seen before. It used sophisticated algorithms to analyze vast amounts of data in real time, and it could make trades faster and more accurately than any human could. Citadel quickly became one of the most successful hedge funds in the world, and Griffin's net worth skyrocketed. But Griffin wasn't content to rest on his laurels. He continued to innovate and develop new trading strategies, and he expanded into new areas like private equity and real estate. Today, Citadel is one of the largest and most successful investment firms in the world, with over 1,200 employees and offices in Chicago, New York, London, and Hong Kong. Ken Griffin's story is a testament to the power of hard work, innovation, and a willingness to take risks. He started with just a few million dollars and a vision for a better hedge fund, and he turned it into a multi-billion dollar empire. He is now one of the most influential figures in finance, and his legacy will be felt for generations to come. To be successful as Ken Griffin, there are several things you can do. Develop a strong educational foundation. Ken Griffin had a passion for learning and a strong educational background in economics. Consider pursuing a degree in a related field and staying up to date with the latest industry news and trends. Innovate and take risks. Griffin was known for his innovative approach to investing and willingness to take risks. Continuously seek out new investment opportunities and be open to unconventional ideas. Work hard and stay disciplined. Griffin worked tirelessly to build his investment empire and had a laser-like focus on his goals. Maintain a strong work ethic and stay disciplined in your investment strategy. Build a talented team. Griffin surrounded himself with talented individuals who could help him achieve his goals. Seek out advisors and a team of experts in the field to help guide your investment decisions. Embrace technology and data analysis. Griffin used cutting-edge technology and data analysis to gain an edge in the market. Be willing to invest in technology and use data to make informed investment decisions. Give back. Griffin is known for his philanthropic work and dedication to giving back to the community. Consider using your success to make a positive impact on the world and help those in need. By following these steps and staying true to your goals, you can strive to achieve success in the world of finance and investment, much like Ken Griffin. There are several investors who share similarities with Ken Griffin in terms of their investment strategies and success in the finance industry. Here are a few examples. Ray Dalio, founder of Bridgewater Associates, Ray Dalio is known for his unique investment philosophy, which includes principles of radical transparency and constant learning. He has been successful in using quantitative analysis to drive investment decisions. Paul Tudor Jones, founder of Tudor Investment Corporation, Paul Tudor Jones has a reputation for being a risk taker and for making bold predictions about the market. He is known for his macroeconomic approach to investing, which involves analyzing global events and trends to identify opportunities. Stephen A. Cohen, founder of Point72 Asset Management, Stephen A. Cohen is known for his expertise in quantitative trading and for using data analysis to inform investment decisions. He is also known for his philanthropic work in the art world. James Simons, founder of Renaissance Technologies, James Simons is a mathematician who has used his expertise to develop a highly successful quantitative investment strategy. 
He is known for his use of complex algorithms and models to identify market patterns and trends. These investors share some similarities with Ken Griffin in terms of their investment strategies and success in the finance industry, but each also has their own unique approach to investing. Ken Griffin has had a significant presence on the Forbes 400 list over the years. The Forbes 400 is an annual ranking of the wealthiest people in America, based on their net worth. Here is a brief overview of Ken Griffin's development on the Forbes 400 list. 2003, Ken Griffin made his debut on the Forbes 400 list at the age of 34, with a net worth of $650 million. At the time, he was the youngest self-made billionaire on the list. 2006, Griffin's net worth had grown to $1.3 billion, and he was ranked number 297 on the Forbes 400 list. 2012, Griffin's net worth had surpassed $3 billion, and he was ranked number 103 on the Forbes 400 list. 2014, Griffin's net worth had grown to $6.6 .6 billion, and he was ranked number 69 on the Forbes 400 list. 2019, Griffin's net worth had skyrocketed to $11.7 billion, and he was ranked number 42 on the Forbes 400 list. 2020, Griffin's net worth had increased even further to $15 billion, and he was ranked number 25 on the Forbes 400 list. Griffin's impressive development on the Forbes 400 list is a testament to his success in the finance industry and his ability to generate wealth through his investment strategies. The future for Ken Griffin, based on his successful track record in the finance industry and his ability to generate wealth through innovative investment strategies, it's likely that Griffin will continue to be a major player in the industry for years to come. Griffin's hedge fund, Citadel, has continued to perform well and expand its reach in the industry, with plans to launch a new quantitative trading unit and expand its cryptocurrency trading operations. Additionally, Griffin has made significant investments in technology and data analysis, which will likely continue to give him an edge in the market. It's also worth noting that Griffin has been involved in various philanthropic endeavors over the years, including supporting education initiatives and donating to the arts. It's possible that he will continue to use his success to make a positive impact on the world. Overall, while the future is always uncertain, it's likely that Ken Griffin will continue to be a major force in the finance industry for the foreseeable future. Thank you for watching this video about Ken Griffin and his success in the finance industry. We hope that you found this information informative and inspiring. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please like and subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you'll stay up to date with the latest news and insights about the world of finance and investing. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.